Hello, welcome. This is Siwei Ye. I'd like to quickly go over my personal real estate acquisition strategy, especially in this past year. Around the middle of last year, when the mortgage interest rate were, during the summer of 2022, when the mortgage interest rate were around 6.5 to 7%, I got under contract on one of my property. It's a new construction in Central Florida for 229, three bedroom, two bath, 1330 square foot. And just recently I closed escrow and the monthly projected rent is around 1750. As I do my calculation, my mortgage interest rate as an investor is around 6.7, maybe to 7.8. 2%. I'm okay with that. Based on a 25% down payment, I should achieve maybe like $100 for $150 of monthly positive cash flow. Guess what? It does not matter because I'm cash flowing. I don't really care about the relatively high mortgage rate. As I educated my investors for a while now, you date the interest rate, but you'll marry the house. I know there's $150 of monthly net cash flow. I'm okay with that because I'm not buying for cash flow. I'm buying for long-term wealth creation. I'm buying for 7, 10, 15 years down the road where I know at some point in time, next year or whenever, when the mortgage rate comes down, I'm going to refinance for a better rate. 5%, 5.5%, whatever the case may be. Then my cash flow will come back to meet my expectation. But again, as I teach my investors, you should not only buy for short-term cash flow, even if the cash flow is very slight because you're dating the interest rate. You can always refinance. And besides, with the current $150 monthly cash flow, that's not going to change the financial situation, right? That's not, that's good enough just to go out for dinner. I'm in not even a four-star restaurant, a regular restaurant, easily for one meal, just people, one person. That is several costs, 100, 150 dollars. Again, the cash flow short term is really are irrelevant in the scheme of things because you need to buy for long term. Over time, things will work out. The cash flow will increase. You can get a whole bunch of tax benefits. As a matter of fact, because I'm a real estate professional on the uh, tax status point of view, my intention is also my current real estate portfolio, I plan to pay little to no taxes because I qualified as a real estate professional and I could write off amazing amount of depreciation. And I'm also, also going to do a cost segregation and bonus depreciation on top of that. Anyway, so this property, this single family home, I just closed escrow. Even though the rent is $1,750, I expect the rent to go higher due to inflation. So in the next 6 to 12 months, my expectation on the monthly rent on this single family home in northern, in central Florida, it'll be from some, it'll increase from 1750 probably to 1800, maybe the 1850. And then a year later, I could refinance my current 7.2 interest rate to 5.5%. Next year, sometimes my monthly net cash flow should be increased from current $150 net monthly to around 300 to $350. All right. Does that make sense? So I'm practicing. I'm practicing what I'm preaching to my, my group of investors of more than 1,000 on my database. Furthermore, I'm not done yet. I got into contract on a brand new fourplex in central Texas around, around May of 2022. And the price was $735,000. What a deal. And it's a fourplex brand new under construction at this moment. It should. The completion date should be around two or three months from now. It's a like four unit. Each unit is three bedroom, two bath. It's a townhouse style per unit. Three bedroom, two bath, three bedroom, two bath per unit. 1,330 square foot on each unit. Total are only excess of 5,000 total square foot. And there's a one car garage for each unit. And there's a decent size backyard for each unit. Today is projected to rent for, I think, 1850 per unit. When I close this goal and then beyond this, maybe later this year, when the rent or expected to increase in this neighborhood, I expect to charge, who knows, close to $2,000 gross monthly rent per unit for a total of 
$1,000 gross monthly rent on all four units. Even though, once again, my mortgage rate on this four unit is expected to be around 7 to 7.3%. 3%. So my cash flow for the short term on each unit or this for a quad could be around 200, maybe $250. Once again, I'm not going to lift all my cash flow today. That's not the point. The point is invest over time and let the rent increase along with inflation. I'm okay with a small little cash flow for the moment, but when the rent increases up to two grand per unit times four is $8,000 gross rent versus the price that I pay for $775,000, that's almost 1% rent to a value ratio. Furthermore, another good set of news are the neighboring a quadplex, fourplex, similar square footage, similar floor plan has been appraised recently. Get this, for $1,000. It is on the other comparable units. So I'm giving you some factual information. This fourplex is under construction. It's almost completed. It took more than a year. I was under contract last May. Almost a year to complete because of the construction delays and everything else. I get that. I'm very, very patient. <laughs> As patient as you get. Again, during the construction phase, I got lucky. Okay. I had, I had no clue that things work out much better than my expectation. I bought it, I'm locking in the price at $775,000 on this beautiful fourplex townhouse unit in Central Texas. At that time last year, the projected monthly rent was $1,750. Now could be like $1,850 to $1,900. By the end of this year or beginning of next year, each unit of those four units could get around $2,000 per unit for long-term tenants. However, I did some further research in a neighborhood and then another neighboring fourplex uh, close by, well, a couple of miles away, another floor plan from another investor. They are promoting some of their properties, similar units, similar size, similar floor plan. One of, uh, they are promoting their unit as a midterm rental and they're asking for around $2,400 hundred dollars per month or a metro rental. I could easily for the foreseeable future, perhaps I could make some adjustments to one of my units. I could convert maybe one of the units for metro rental, maybe rent to a traveling nurse because the area where this four tax is located is close to several major hospitals in central Texas. I'm not going to disclose any more details. Though each of those four units for the foreseeable future I could keep it as a long-term rental, charging at least $2,000 per month per unit long-term. Or when I do further research and test the market a little bit and see whether uh, I can do some mid rental, who knows, I could even turn one of the four units or two of the four units into either mid-term rental for higher cash flow or even short-term rental. And in this neighborhood, in this area of the city in Central Texas, there are no restrictions associated with a short-term rental situation. And also, this area is has been very good for travel destinations and vacationers. I so I see a lot of flexibility associated with the four unit. So it's very exciting. Again, the the end of the day is I don't really care about the higher mortgage rate. I'm investing for the long term. I'm not gonna sell any kind of property for emotional reasons. I don't care about this doom and gloom crashing scenario and the sky is falling, the media could destroy the earth and all your real estate can go down to the toilet. I'm investing for the long term and I'm not going to allow any projected recession or crash crappy, the BS stuff you get out there and all the negative headlines out there they are destroying a lot of people's financial dreams because they believe into it. So this is so ridiculous, so misleading. Anyway, just because I show you, I'm practicing what I'm preaching. I'm just giving you a sample size. There's never a long time to invest in real estate. I dollar cost averaging. You know what that means? I know you heard dollar cost averaging that, that are uh, pretty much uh, confined to a uh, stock market and mutual funds. So I incorporate this definition to real estate investing because dollar cost averaging, in my definition, it doesn't matter. It does not matter about the economic conditions, the chaos or whatever inflation, it's something that we cannot control. I can control my own personal economy. I invest for long term. I don't let the all the short term volatility affect me. I know 
higher mortgage rate will give you a lower cash flow. Again, I'm not retiring on the lower cash flow today. I'm retiring a few years from now. Hopefully, my presentation is not only resonating to my members. I appreciate I have several thousand members in my real estate investment club. I appreciate you. Just going to show you, you need to have a positive attitude. You need to invest for the long term. Just overcome all the volatility, all the negative news out there. Focus on your goal. Establish a plan and don't deviate. Do not deviate and just overcome all the challenges, all the obstacles, people, all these things are uh, be on your control. You cannot control that. Focus on your long-term goal. Go through the journey. Don't panic. Show discipline. Do the work and be proactive and have a positive attitude. Hopefully this video will inspire not only my members, but the YouTube audience out there who are also listening to this video. I want you to challenge you. Real estate, over time, you will always make money. That's the history of real estate. Nothing is going to change. Because right now, we have seen the, the lowest inventory of supply ever in history. And there are pent up demand going on. There are bidding wars, there are small bidding wars in several markets, a lot of markets actually in the country. So things are heating up. Get off the side lines and start investing to create a financial plan for yourself, create wealth for yourself and your family and generations to come. Thank you so much for listening. And uh, for those of you listening to me on my YouTube channel, please receive value on this presentation. Please smash the like button and also subscribe to my YouTube, to my YouTube channel and also subscribe and email into my website so you can be a free member on my real estate investing organization so you receive free investing newsletters from in, into your email list. Thank you so much. This is Siwen Yi. I will see you on the other side and I will talk to you guys again. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.